Hello class and welcome to COM201 where we have analyzed videos like Beyonce's Formation to Buster Keaton to Killer of Sheep. We have discussed about video games but only by analyzing it with postmodernism. What if I told you music and video games is an interesting topic to discuss? Music is a type of media and so are video games. Combine the two and there could be a whole discussion about it. Now let's get started. Music is a vital part of storytelling in media such as movies. Music cues are sudden musical signals that prompt an event that is about to occur. For example, when a suspicious character is spotted by another character, there will be a music cue that will add suspense to the character getting spotted. Music cues do the same thing in video games. The first game ever to have music cues in the gameplay was Gunfight, which was released in 1975 and created by Tomohiro Nishikado. It was based on western cowboys squaring off to a duel, and whenever one of the cowboys would be killed, there would be a music cue planned to interpret a player losing the round. There would also be a music cueing up to begin the round. Let me show you. One of the first games that began the norm of adding music to the gameplay was 1987's RBI Baseball on the NES gaming console. Over time, more and more video games included music and helped develop the digital synthesis genre like in Super Mario Bros. As the years passed, video games had to have music to add immersiveness to the player. About a decade later, video games would eventually include scores since the music they used pretty much created an original soundtrack. A prime example of a video game that its score is the music and music cues is Halo Comet Evolved, released in 2001. The musical score consisted of Gregorian chanting, string orchestra, and percussion. Critics praised the video game score for adding an immersive and emotional punch to the gameplay and cinematics. Here's a sample of the Halo CE soundtrack. Timothy Summers, a stipendiary lecturer in music for St. Catherine's College and Bristol University, wrote an article for the soundtrack in 2012 about how music enhances player immersion. He states, and I quote, To understand music's immersive function, it is useful to consider a phenomenon evident in much game music. Music frequently and obviously deploys strategically chosen music signifiers in order to furnish the game world by important associations that can support signification on a visual level or can fill in gaps left on the visual level. What you're about to listen to is the music cue to when the action scene is about to happen in Halo CE. Another video game that has excellent music cues is Pokemon. There are various music cues for wild battles, trainer battles, and master battles. Michael Cerati, an attorney of law from Los Angeles, California, wrote an article for the Vanderbilt Journal of Entertainment and Technology Law. Titled, Video Game Music, Where It Came From, How It Is Being Used Today, and Where It Is Heading Tomorrow, is where he states, and I quote, Music has played an integral role in this process. The creative collaborations between the music and video game industries have only begun to lay the groundwork for future games. End quote. 
One moment the player discovering a new location, and another they could be in an unknown area that has a horror vibe and the music would term ominous and fearful. In this video essay, I showed examples of how numerous video games use music cues to cause the player to feel a certain way or expect the unexpected in the world they are playing in.